is a very different setting than any of my previous videos on chickens. Earlier this spring, I found out we were moving out to a more suburban area. And I wasn't about to let my chickens go. So, I thought to keep as many as I could. Township Pier said I could keep six. So I kept that little black and white one, the Bard Rock, who actually was under a goose until she was about to hatch and then I picked her up and saw the egg was fairly incubated and she hatched. There's um, Lucy which is the other one that I hatch and the two khaki Campbell ducks I hatch. Now everybody in here is laying except my bird rock for now. She's due at the end of this month I believe. And inside my coop, which actually took a little while to build, it's quite nice though. I have the light on um, for the sake of light in this video. Underneath in here is a chicken I had in the spring. You might remember her from my How to Train Chicks video. She's an old English game bantam, and she's gone broody. So what I did is I went out to the grocery store today and I found some fertile eggs, like sold as fertile, I don't know if she can fit all four under her. And I gave them to her. And so this is gonna be a bit of an experiment to see if she'll incubate them. It looks like she took two of them and then I just put the other two under. And we'll have to see how this goes. Um, I picked the freshest eggs I could find um, via the furthest expiration date. They're from my state, so they're somewhat local eggs according to the packaging. And we'll see how this goes. I'm only allowed six hens, so when these chicks hatch, if they hatch, not only is it in October, um, a bit late in the year for chickens, but I can only keep one more hen, so I'm going to have to find new homes for them. But otherwise, I'm very excited to see how they do. And I'll get to you in about a week with an update on whether or not these eggs are fertile, how they're developing. I'll candle them, and we'll see from there. Thanks for watching, guys. and. Welcome to my new suburban farm, in quotes. It's a new adventure for me, so hopefully you guys don't mind coming along. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, consider subscribing, and maybe I'll get back into vlogging. Thanks for your time, everybody. See you.